um, our, our median single residential home, where the typical increase was a nine percent. So the median went up from four hundred forty-five thousand to four hundred eighty-five thousand. Inclusive of the uh, assessment changes and budgetary changes, it would result in a municipal tax increase of about six percent, or ten dollars and ninety-seven cents a month. For our typical residential condominium, which the value has held stable year over year at 235,000, we are seeing a, a typical decrease of minus 3% or $2.40 less per month. We, we are seeing the more desire for, for more space as more people are working more at, from home and it just in general spending more time at home. So that has resulted in uh, 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 suburban uh, homes being valued more, uh, as well as commute times are, are not as uh, important. So again, um, we are seeing a, a, a larger increase in uh, the values of suburban homes. So we are seeing a 10% in the single residential market increase in the uh, suburban areas, whereas compared to a 3% uh, in, in the inner city. Uh, and for condos, we've seen um, the values overall being flat. Generally, condos have less space than a, a detached and semi-detached uh, uh, homes. So on the uh, non-residential side, um, uh, we've, as more people are working from home, we have seen uh, vacancy for offices continue to rise and which have impacted the uh, office markets with an overall decrease of uh, minus 10% uh, for industrial. Because of the uh, increasing uh, e-commerce, uh, the desirability for more uh, storage and distribution space, we've seen uh, lar large uh, warehouses continue to values continue to be uh, strong, and they, they have been uh, been stable, and it's been actually uh, quite uh, resilient. Um, in, in terms of retail, we have seen a uh, uh, a, a little bit of a recovery. However, we have seen values for malls and uh, retail in the downtown core, just because less traffic is uh, occurring in those areas. Those those values have uh, decreased, whereas um, uh, grocery stores and uh, large format retail continue to be uh, strong, and those uh, uh, values are increasing. Uh, overall, the office market uh, we have seen an overall decrease of 10 percent. We have seen. Uh, the uh, more premier, the double A office towers value uh, a little bit, perform a little bit better than that. Um, we are seeing a, a flight to quality where uh, uh, um, tenants are moving from uh, lower quality uh, office towers into some of those uh, uh, premier uh, office towers. So as such, we've still seen a, a drop in overall uh, office values, but the double uh, uh, A class uh, downtown towers have been uh, performing uh, uh, better than that.